Let's derive an e expression for the time period of a simple pendulum. So the definition of simple pendulum over here is given to you. We are going to consider the bob as of very small mass and it does not matter actually whether the mass is small or large. But please understand we are going to derive the entire expression by considering the angle theta to be very very small. I will explain you what the angle theta is. The length of the pendulum is taken from the point of suspension to the center of the bob. Now this starts oscillating in this direction. Now suppose this, this bob reaches extreme position, the weight is always vertically downwards. Okay. Now this is the string and the tension in the string is like this. Okay. Now you can very well see that the pendulum was here, so the string was here, now the string is here, this angle is angle theta. So this angle and this angle are corresponding angles, so this will become theta. Okay. You can very well see two parallel lines, this and this and this becomes the transversal, so this becomes the corresponding angles. So if I resolve this mg into two parts, this will become mg cos theta and then the perpendicular component mg sin theta. This one is cos component, this one is sin component. Now the T minus mg cos theta will provide the necessary centripetal force for the uh, you know this curved motion which is a part of a big circular motion. So if pendulum oscillates there has to be a net centripetal force so that this will keep on moving in a very small section of the circular part. Correct. But which force is responsible to take this pendulum back to its mean position? This is the extreme position, this is the mean position that is mg sin theta. So mg sin theta is the force which is responsible to take this to the mean position. Now had it been this pendulum over here, mg sin theta would have been towards the mean position. right? So you can draw this mg over here, let us draw that. So this is mg, this would be theta. So again if I split up this into two parts, one will be mg cos theta and this will be mg sin theta. So again mg sin theta is the force which is responsible to bring back the pendulum to its mean position. So this serves as the restoring force. So here we have found out the restoring force to be mg sin theta. Okay? All right. Now I am going to make this angle theta small. So when the pendulum is hardly say somewhere over here, somewhere even less than the middle part. This theta is very small. I am going to take this theta less than 5 degrees. Okay? So if the, this theta is very, very small, from here to here this distance is the displacement that is x. You may take this as y also. Right? This angle seems to be almost 90 degrees. So from here if I take sin theta, this is theta this is x, this is l, sin theta is equal to perpendicular, perpendicular upon hypotenuse, sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse, so x by l. You know the identity in maths that if theta is small, right, sin theta is almost equal to tan theta is almost equal to theta, correct? This is for your understanding. Now. What is the main concept over here? In any SHM, net force is always equal to minus k times y. This is the net force or the necessary force for the or the necessary restoring force to bring the particle back to its mean position. Now, this is the displacement and this is the restoring force. We have already seen this part, right? And we know that t is equal to 2 pi under root of m by k where m is the particle which is oscillating. If you are able to make this kind of expression and find the value of k, simply substitute it over here, you will get the time period. Now let us go ahead with this one. Here we know that the restoring force F net is mg sin theta. How come? Because this is the only force. Right? This is the only force which is bringing the pendulum back at its mean position. So that force we know it is mg sin theta. Right? Now F net 
is equal to mg instead of sin theta I am going to write down this as x by L and f net is equal to mg by L times x where x is the displacement and this is our restoring force. Now if you look and compare these two expressions right f net f net here displacement here displacement so the leftover k is this part right and of course I should be you can ignore this minus sign because f net is in this direction displacement is in this direction look displacement is in this direction from displacement is always from mean position so like this but f net is in this direction that's why minus sign so here k itself is mg by l which I am going to substitute it over here. So t is equal to 2 pi under root of m by k I am going to write down mg by l right what happens is this mm gets cancelled so t is equal to 2 pi under root of l by g. This is the expression for the time period of course frequency is reciprocal of this one and you can very well see that the time period is only dependent upon the length of the pendulum as well as acceleration due to gravity okay it does not depend upon the mass of the pendulum either but this expression is only true if this angle theta is taken very very small so that's why we say that time period holds this time period expression holds for very small oscillations